What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing three super easy dump and go vegan crock pot recipes with you guys. I'm not a huge slow cooker user, as you guys probably know. I much prefer the instant pot, but I've been experimenting with some new slow cooker recipes and I thought you guys would really like them. These recipes are so easy to make, um, hence the term dump and go. You literally just put it all in the slow cooker and let it cook for four or more hours. And all these recipes have lots of veggies in them, which is why I like them. And they are plant-based, of course. So let's just jump right on into these recipes. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't leave without giving this video a big old thumbs up because it really helps out this video. And yeah, let's just jump right on into these three slow cooker recipes. So for the first recipe, I'm gonna be making crock pot quinoa. And this came out so good. I never knew you could make quinoa in a slow cooker, but I'm gonna definitely be making this recipe all the time now. It was so flavorful. For dinner, I ended up using I ended up using it in like a Mexican style bowl with some chili tofu and avocado on top. And it was so delicious and filling. So to start out, I rinsed off one and a half cups of quinoa in a strainer and I'm just adding that into the slow cooker along with one cup of frozen corn one can of rinsed and drained black beans, one green bell pepper diced, and one small yellow on onion diced, one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. I feel like this is really the secret ingredient that added a lot of flavor, so definitely wouldn't skimp out on the fire roasted. Next, I added one and a half cups of water and three cloves of garlic. For spices, I added a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of cumin, and one tablespoon of chili powder. I'm using this one from Trader Joe's. I just tried it recently and it's pretty good. And then I gave that a stir, put the lid on, and I cooked it for four hours on high pressure. It has been about four and a half hours on high and the quinoa I feel it like could be a little bit more cooked but it is pretty much done and I'm gonna turn this like Mexican taco quinoa into a quinoa bowl so to go with it I am making some chili tofu I just sprayed down the skillet with a little bit of oil and cut up my tofu index cubes and I added in this chili seasoning blend as well as a little sprinkle of garlic salt, and I'm gonna assemble my quinoa bowls. So to complete my quinoa bowl, I layered on the tofu and some avocado, and topped it off with some green onion, and this dinner came out so good, I will definitely be making this more often. For the next recipe, I wanted to do something similar to a corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day, but veganized. And my dad used to make something really similar to this all the time growing up. In place of meat, I'm gonna be using this veggie sausage, and this stuff is really good, but it's pretty salty. So it works great in this recipe to help season the vegetables. And this is my first time making this, but I decided to film it in case it turned out good. And it came out amazing, so I'm gonna share the recipe with you guys. For ingredients, I'm using two yellow onions quartered. <laughs> so I used a pound of potatoes and I think next time I would probably use like three fourths of a pound because this was a little bit too many potatoes to like everything else ratio wise. But yeah, I've never made this before so I was just kind of like eyeballing everything. Next I added about four cloves of garlic, minced. along with four of the veggie sausages I showed you guys. These are the Tofurky brand. And next I added a bag of these baby carrots and I'm using these ones just to make the prep a little bit easier so I don't have to peel and cut them. I wanted to add in a whole head of cabbage but as you can see it's not gonna fit so I added about half of the head of cabbage and as it wilted down, there was more room, so I could have added more in there. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, as you can see, my crock pot is absolutely stuffed to the brim. Um, I did not mean to put so much in, but uh, as it cooks down, it'll make more space, hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna add two bay leaves. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna add some of this veggie broth. About two cups. I also added in two more cups of water off camera, but I didn't film it. And I have this bouillon cube that I'm gonna first dissolve in some water because I don't wanna just put it in there whole. Very carefully break it up. And I'm gonna just pour this on here, try and get it down on the bottom. I think that my crock pot is kind of smaller than other ones. Get some fresh black pepper. I'm gonna press high for six hours. I'm just gonna cook it until everything is nice and soft and the veggies are tender. My dad used to make something similar to this all the time on Sundays, so I wanted to try out like a vegan version and hopefully it works. So here's what it looks like after the six hours. As you can see, it has cooked down quite a bit and I also stirred this about halfway through. I gave it a stir to make sure it was cooking evenly and it came out so good. The flavor was really delicious and it's super easy to make. I'm really happy the way it turned out. I also want to mention that I cook all my recipes on high. I don't know if it's my crock pot, but I feel like it takes a really long time to cook on low. I feel like it's not very powerful. So yeah, that's why I cook all these recipes on high. Anyways, let's jump right to recipe number three. For recipe number three, I am making barbecue jackfruit tacos. This recipe is so easy to make and came out delicious. You can use whatever barbecue sauce is your favorite. I also made some coleslaw to go on top and served it on some corn tortillas, but you could also use this recipe as a pulled pork sandwich served on a bun. So for ingredients, I'm using these two cans of jackfruit in brine. You can pick this up at Trader Joe's for $1.99. Jackfruit in itself has very little protein. It actually is very low in calories and doesn't have much nutritional value at all. So to give this recipe a little bit more protein, I'm going to mix in one can of white kidney beans. And this is the barbecue sauce that I'm going to be using, but TBH, I didn't love this barbecue sauce in this recipe. It was a little bit too sweet and overpowering. So next time I make this, I will definitely be using a different type of barbecue sauce, but you could just use whatever barbecue sauce is your favorite. And I'm also going to be using this chili seasoning from Trader Joe's and half of a sliced onion. So I'm just putting in the sliced onion. And next I am opening the cans of jackfruit to rinse them off really good in a strainer. And you want to get all the salty brine off there. It kind of has like a weird flavor in my opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of jackfruit. I think it's a little bit squishy, but in this recipe, I really liked it. So yeah, after I rinse off the jackfruit really good, I just added that on into the crock pot with the onions. And I'm also straining and rinsing off the can of white beans. Next to the crock pot, I added one tablespoon of the chili powder. Along with one cup of the barbecue sauce. And one cup of veggie broth. And lastly, I added a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And I just gave that a good stir, made sure the jackfruit was all coated evenly. And I wasn't sure if I should add the beans in the beginning or not because I don't want them to turn to mush, but I ended up just deciding to add them in all together. And they didn't get that mushy, it ended up being fine. So I'm gonna cook it on high for four hours. You could also try cooking it on low for longer hours if you like have to go to work or something but i've just never tried it and about halfway through i just took a fork and mashed up the jackfruit into shredded pieces and this is what it looks like and it really looks like shredded chicken or pulled pork it's kind of freaky so yeah this is the finished product after four hours and next i'm gonna be making a coleslaw to go on top of my tacos so in this bowl i have some bagged cabbage coleslaw just to make this really simple, I used a bag mix. In place of mayo, I used about a quarter cup of cashew butter, 
whipped up with some water until it was thin enough to the consistency I wanted. And then I just added two tablespoons of white vinegar and some salt and pepper. And it made this really simple vegan coleslaw. Okay, so I am toasting up some tortillas for our tacos. I have these corn tortillas, I'm just browning them up and I'm gonna assemble our tacos. And here is the finished product. It uh, doesn't look too appetizing, but it is so bomb and was so easy to make. You could put this on buns and make little pulled pork sandwiches. Well, there you guys go. Those are my three slow cooker recipes for you guys. If you like this video, don't leave without giving it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.